Hi friends, today I have a wonderful Avis 83 for you. Um, it's a brass lock uh, which is plated. And I'm very very happy I have this. I was so lucky <laughs> to, to get it uh, for a reasonable price. Here you can see it has a removable core. Um, standard Avis Kiwi. Um, it does say 500 on the core and it, uh, it's really a pretty tough pick um, nice big shackle 9.5 millimeters uh, the same as the <coughs> Avis ATTI 50 you can see it but uh, much heavier than this um, very cool I will show you the packaging um, See it, it's a solid brass body, with special uh, alloy shackle, uh, patented <coughs> shackle change. Okay, I have seen the tool for this, but uh, I don't intend to change the shackle. Uh, it's keyable, of course, with a, a removable core, uh, high precision, and that's really too. Um, there's nothing very special inside, I will tell you this later, but it's pretty. Uh, pretty hard to pick um, it had a set bar for the uh, QB tuning function uh, and overall you can see the our symbols um, very very cool it's 8 rated uh, as you know I also uh, collect the packaging um, so now let's clamp it into the vise locked at the moment. <coughs> I will go bottom of the keyway. You can see well. Let's zoom in a little bit. So, adjust the light. So, we start at the front. Already pin 1 is binding. And one click and another click. So pin one is a serrated one. Let's see now I'm pin two, little click. Pin three, carefully. Little click. Check the other ones. Okay. Pin four is down. Little click from pin four. And pin 5 is uh, really deep down. I have to wiggle, pick a little bit under it. And here it's open. <laughs> that was really fast. It is never that fast. Very cool. <coughs> Normally you have to lift uh, pin 4 and pin 2. Um, you can see it. <coughs> um, because there are very nice spools inside. Let's do this again. I hope you can. No, that was that was too easy. Um, okay, <coughs> I'm not not happy when it's too easy because <coughs> I want to show you a realistic um, result. Pin 3, pin 4, and pin 5 is deep down. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, now we have a fault set. Oh, now it's working. Okay, let's check. Yeah, pin 2 gives a little bit counter rotation, but I think we have to set another pin first. No, really pin 2. Hope you can see this. How we wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, we got pin 2 and pin 4 is also deep down, as I said, wiggle wiggle and here it's open. <coughs> so this is uh, how the lock normally behaves. <laughs> On the first try I had really, really luck. Um, 
very cool lock. <coughs> Here you can see the key. It doesn't look uh, that challenging, but it's really hard as it has um, pretty sharp spools inside. Uh, the first pin, as I said, is uh, a serrated pin. Then uh, um, for a serrated uh, driver pin, then for um, spools as drivers for pins uh, 2 to 5, and the key pins are all standard pins. Uh, but the precision is really high, um, pretty hard to pick, gives a very nice metallic clicking. Uh, has you can see it here double double ball bearing so all is protected also with double ball bearing uh, key is retaining at the moment uh, I've not ch changed the Z bar but I could uh, it's working nice it has no play or almost no play here nothing is wiggling okay yet now the key is in it's a little bit but uh, the precision and the manufacturing quality is very very high and normally this lock is pretty expensive so it has to be very high but as I said at the beginning I was uh, very lucky um, and did uh, would say a little bit over one third of a price for it <laughs> so very cool I'm very happy I have this lock in my collection and I hope you had a little bit of fun for, <laughs> for double picking and um, we we'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye.